So there's many appeals of AUC dosing of vancomycin. Um, so traditionally, when we look at the, the data regarding vancomycin dosing, the, the literature, the original literature, is really all surrounding AUC. Um, so all the clinical outcomes associated with vancomycin dosing is AUC-based. And really, troughs have been used as a surrogate um, because they're more easily calculated, and it's really for more ease than it is for clinical outcomes. So um, going back to really where we all started with AUC dosing, and um, because we've realized how we're overexposing patients with trough dosing is, is really why it's, um, why it's advantageous. Um, there were several uh, findings in my study, such as um, decreased overall exposure, uh, as well as decreasing average trough levels um, that make it advantageous for providers and, and pharmacists alike to go back to this original dosing method. My study had several key findings, uh, one of which was AUC dosing decreasing the average trough level. So we found it decreased average troughs from roughly 16 uh, micrograms per milliliter to about 13 micrograms per milliliter, which is within the range where we typically say um, a trough is associated with an AUC of 400 to 600, that 10, 11 to 15 range. Um, we also found that it decreased average daily exposure. So we were at about three grams a day almost of average daily exposure in these patients measured in grams per day. And that was actually able to be decreased to 2.1 grams per day of average exposure. Um, there were other findings as well, such as vancomycin-induced nephrotoxicity, which kind of um, ranged you know, throughout our rollout of the AUC dosing hospital-wide. However, uh, we found that it was well within the range of an average of 12% uh, when we were finished rolling out uh, full AUC dosing hospital-wide, uh, which is within the range of accepted um, VIN is the definition that we actually graphed, but also tracked rifle and akin definitions of, of acute kidney injury, uh, but well within the range of what's been reported in the literature of uh, inst other institutions that have implemented AUC dosing of vancomycin. So lastly, we found that uh, once we achieved uh, low supertherapeutic troughs, our subtherapeutic troughs would actually increase, which we defined as less than 10 micrograms per, per milliliter. Um, so that's really what we have to watch out for, because our goal was to um, you know, keep our troughs above 10, not as much for efficacy purposes, but more for um, harboring resistance and um, producing you know, resistant strains to, to vancomycin. Um, so that would be the one thing that I'd watch out for, because that's, that is one finding that, that did happen in our study.